And I just want to, want to introduce you to my brothers first. Lorenzo Fiorentino, U.S. Army, 23 years, Bronze Star, Afghanistan. Yeah. Marvin. Barney Duffner, Silver Star, Two Purple Hearts, Vietnam. Wow. We have two of our members, Sons of the Legion. This is uh, River Forest and River Grove Policemen, 30 years. And we have Gary Linden right here. We also have, finally, but not least, is our good buddy. George Korea. He's been through hell and back, and he's a person we can re really count on, and he's truly a brother. So, if something went wrong. Well, things went really wrong. Yeah. All right, so unfortunately, we lost a lot of lives that day. Richard was there. And it was neat because I only found that out in talking. I was like, dude, so you know, when you were in the court, what you doing? He told me, oh yeah, you remember it? And it was just amazing. I'm a historian, I love history. I knew about it immediately. So I know none of you knew that, but he was there when the uh, Iran crisis was happening and we lost all those service members on Chinooks. Okay. So that being said, oh yeah, another we're all on a great stuff. Right? Uh, let's, let's make it a little more fun. So George and Dominic are two great guys. Right? And so Richard called me and called us one day. And he's like, hey, uh, St. Filomena wants to do a reunion. I was like, oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Because, you know, kind of thinking of using the post. And I was like, well, that's a great idea. You know, so now we kind of have to work things around with the village, okay? I mean, you know, it's a typical village and everything. You know, they, they got their own thing going on, and that's great. We do what we want, et cetera. So I said, well, I said, weren't there any veterans besides you in the St. Philomena class? And he said, oh, yeah, we got a couple more. He goes, and we also had a member that we lost along the way. And I said, well, you know what? And let's, I think we should think about ways to honor him. So the, the three of them got together. We came up with some ideas, and, uh, and that's... We're all thrilled that you're all here, uh, and we're especially thrilled that we're able to recognize uh, um, Sergeant Chaplain uh, with the Chicago Police Department and formerly of the U.S. Air Force. Um, this is truly a brotherhood that we have. Uh, anytime Richard needs something, anytime I need something, uh, Barney, uh, you know, we all help each other out. No matter what it is, we're always there for each other. And by extension, so are all those that we know, okay? We never met uh, Sergeant Chapman, but as far as we're concerned, he was one of us. And we all feel like we were all part of your class, okay? The only one here that probably was older than your class is this guy. Uh, but the rest of us feel like we were all in your class, right? Although we're a little younger, you know? Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna transition to something really quick. Now, Richard also mentioned that, uh, you know, you guys had a few veterans in your class, but you know that you probably had a lot more uh, individuals whose parents had served in the military. Okay, and that's why we have our our two gentlemen up here. So um, Gary, his father served in World War II. Okay, he was a World War II veteran. And um, the hell's your name? <laughs> George. We got so many damn Georges. It's crazy. If I, I say George, half the place turns around. So um, in Italian families, it's Peter. Peter, Joe, and Lorenzo, and half the family turns around, especially in my family. There's a George. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, it all goes to the museum. Don't put it down. So, um, but George's grandfather served in World War II also. Um, but they are sons of the American Legion. And I always refer to them, yeah, my sons. All right, and everybody looks at me like, darn, you don't look that old. All right, well, I'm not. They are my sons in the American Legion. 
Okay? So for those of you whose parents, grandparents, uncles served in the military, you're all eligible to be in the Sons of the American Legion. Okay, so if you're interested in joining, and you go to school, I swear I got some veterans joins us for the cool little hat. <laughs> yeah, they walk in the door, wouldn't look at my head. I was like, yeah, I got order. <laughs> so, but that being said, we'll get back to why we're here tonight. So we started brainstorming, what can we do, et cetera, and so on. After we got past the whole, are you sure the bus is going to show up at 2:30? I'm like, dude. The bus is going to be there. <laughs> hey, we're two weeks out. Are you sure the bus is going to be there at 2.30? I'm like, listen, if the bus ain't there at 2.30, you see that big green truck? We're all going to get there with that big green truck. But you guys are going to get the same thing to do one way or the other. Okay? And that's why the big green truck is there. Just in case. I know, I know Richard told me. I know Richard told the, told the guys, don't worry, Lorenzo's always got a plan B. There's a plan B. We're going to get you guys in one way or the other. Everybody on one track. We got blankets. We got umbrellas. You've been fine. It was beautiful today. Take like a hay ride. That's right. All right? <laughs> so that being said, then, then it was like, hey, uh, how about the certificates? I'm like, don't worry. You know, I'm one of those guys. We, you know, there's like a million other things before October 22nd happens. So it is 22nd, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. So it's like, you know, I, we prioritize everything. And I'm always telling Richard, we're always, in, we're always doing so much. And, and I know these guys know because they've been involved with a lot of the stuff we've done. So we're always doing so much, so we're always prioritizing. But one thing we never do is we never fail. That's just who we are. And when the whole idea came up about doing this event here, what a great opportunity to recognize one of our own. All right? So I know, my tears, I'm sorry. I mean, but so now we're gonna, we want to talk about what we have here. So one of our friends is, uh, is uh, Illinois House of Rep.